Hey everybody, I want to make a video about pareidolia, which is this beautiful thing for humans where they are able to see faces in everything, just random photos of mountains, this electrical outlet, etc, etc. And because humans are so good at this, I got a lot of responses to this post on my LinkedIn feed uh, last week where, as you can see, people can clearly see a face in the clouds, in this case, my face. And I think especially this, this image works really well, where you have this medieval town where you can clearly see my face, but if you start looking at the individual components, it's just a very normal village. It's just a very normal looking tree in the background. So, yeah, I was quite happy with that because as you zoom in, it all looks normal. If you zoom out, you can see my face. So yeah, people were asking me, how do you make it? Can you give a tutorial? How do you do this? And I also saw that some other people tried to do the same, but some people weren't really able to get the exact effect. So I want to explain what and how. So to achieve this, first of all, I just downloaded a photo of me. In this case, I just got my LinkedIn photo, why not, good enough, recognizable. I, as a first step, decided to remove the background because that way you have a very clear version of your face and I removed the remove.bg app for that. And you can generate those photos, which I just showed you, using this illusion diffusion thing. So people have discovered that you can create QR codes which look like whatever you want basically and then phones will still scan it and now people are discovering that with this technology you can basically make anything you want which is amazing but it's important to understand what's going on here and what's happening in the background because this control net which people are using to generate images that is aiming at the edges in a pattern in this case, they use a Kenny Edge detector, if I'm not wrong. And this means that you have to be careful about what you upload exactly, because if you would only upload this, it's such a wild image. There are so many edges everywhere that the output doesn't become very good. So this is why I'm using Inkscape. This is already the final, the final thing I made. But let's take a look at this photo. In Inkscape, you have this option called Trace Bitmap. And there you can either just select a brightness cutoff, which gives you something with two colors, or you could even go for something multicolor if you want to have multiple brightness steps, you can have more or less, etc., etc. And that way you can find the exact amount of brightness changes you want. You can find the exact amount of edges you want. I also use this a couple of times for, for example, laser cutting, etc., 3D printing. It's always very useful. I guess in this case, this brightness is good enough. Uh, there is one thing which is really important uh, to note, and that is that if we take a look at this, um, it will try to find the edges in this in this uh, face, but that's not necessarily what you want. So in this case, you don't see an edge between the start of my face and like the background, which looks totally normal for us because it's a whole face. But for the underlying computer, this will pose like supposed to be problematic. So before you upload something, you basically have to draw an extra line. Maybe you want to like fill in a couple of things you don't like about your face, just to make it that the edges reflect what you actually want to achieve. So that's that's at least uh, one tip for me. Try to make sure that the edges you see in the image are reflecting what you want to see in the final image. Anyways, as I said, I already have the final thing. As you can see, I only added like a thin line and that ensures that there will be some kind of edge in the landscape in the final generation there. So let's take a look at the, at the app again. So you can do this for free basically in this hugging face space at ap123-illusiondiffusion.hf.space. However, lately, because so many people are doing it, so yeah, it's, there's, a, there's a massive queue. So I just decided to clone my own version. So let me try to see. I normally just make screenshots and upload that. 
great and now you can say i don't know a a an ocean with clouds above it at sundown and then it will start running immediately because you just pay for the gpu which is amazing the one thing to really take a look at is this illusion strength because that's going to determine how strong the effect is going to be so if you set this to 0 0.8 for example you can kind of see maybe roughly what the idea is but the effect is not very strong you can kind of see my neck it's not very not very good so let's go to something like 1.5 and notice that in some of the prompts, this is already good enough to give you this illusion, to give you this effect. But often it's not very recognizable. So around 1.5, you can see that you can roughly see a face if you look very well. But most people wouldn't immediately say, oh, I see a face. And notice that something around 2.5 seems to be a pretty decent amount where you still have a lot of interpretation to get these nice deviations for, which make it look a bit more natural but it's already getting good at the at the at making a natural looking landscape in this case i think it's actually too much and that's also the one tip i want to give you is that just play around with this parameter per different prompt because for every prompt different values for the illusion strength are the best you can also see that if you have something which is too high it doesn't become very interesting anymore. And here you see the illusion strength with the value 2. And I actually really love this image. It's a super beautiful island. It looks like a normal island. The rocks look extremely normal. I can also see that this line which we added, it added a couple of rocks there. And without that, it would just be a weird, weird entry. So yeah, there you go. You can download that. Do with it whatever you want. The image is 1024 by 1024, which I think is quite nice. Uh, one last thing is that I noticed today that the GPUs on Hugging Face are running low, just like everybody wants to have more GPUs already since the last five years. And to be honest, Hugging Face was running low on GPUs, so make sure that you claim one on time. And yeah, enjoy. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more short, con like short videos like this or short tutorials and uh, good luck generating your own designs. Have a nice day.